Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Draven Academy, and I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to you and to your entire family. If you're like most Americans today, you're about to eat a big feast with a bird on your table, and that bird is probably called a turkey, right? This is the sacred bird of today, which is the Thanksgiving turkey. I'm not too sure why it is a turkey. I think it was because the pilgrims gave a turkey to the Indians, or maybe the Indians gave the turkey to the pilgrims, one way or the other. But nevertheless, now in today's day, 46 million turkeys are killed every year just because of Thanksgiving, because you and me want to eat and give thanks with the people we love around our around our table. So now I want you to think about it. Hey, the turkey's here on our table. We paid X amount of dollars for this turkey. How did the turkey actually get here? That's where truck drivers come in. Here at Driving Academy, we have a mission of helping a million people get on the road to freedom. And some of those students will eventually be transporting turkeys for Thanksgiving feast. So let's talk about exactly how the whole turkey gets transported from the farm to your dinner table. So first, it's gonna be a turkey on the farm. What's gonna happen is the truck driver is gonna load up to a farm. The farmer is then gonna load the turkey into a whole bunch of crates that look like this. And they're gonna put it on a flatbed or some type of trailer that looks just like so. These look like poultry crates here, but as you can see, they are bigger. So the turkeys do have more room. The turkey is a bigger bird. If you're transporting poultry, like chicken, that means it's a smaller bird, smaller cages, so on and so forth. So from there, a guy gets transport, a guy gets paid to move live turkeys to a processing plant. In that processing plant, they work their magic, where turkey goes in with feathers, they get a nice haircut, they come out not alive, and they also come out with no feathers, because last time I checked, no one really likes feathers on their turkey during Thanksgiving. I don't. That being said, where does it happen from there? After the whole processing is done, a reefer trailer comes in, and a reefer trailer looks like this. It looks like a normal trailer. But they call reefer, short for refrigerated trailer, and this now has the ability to transport food. Because once that turkey's dead and it has no more fur, on, has no more fur or feathers on it, I should say, now that turkey is considered ready to eat food, they vacuum seal it, they pack it however they want, and then from there it gets put into a reefer trailer, and the reefer trailer brings it to the supermarkets where you buy it from. Now, if you ordered your turkey somehow uh, on a direct delivery or anything like that, or you do any kind of online shopping, that means another person got paid to bring that turkey from the supermarket or from the warehouse to your house itself, and then you took it from there, and now it's going to be on your dinner table so then you and your family can share and give thanks with everything that you've done this year. Now, this year was kind of crazy, but if you just think about how that one turkey got transported to your table, at least two truck drivers got paid uh, to support them and their family just because you purchased that turkey. So that being said, hopefully by next year, you'd actually be the one getting paid for your transportation. Maybe you'll be transporting a turkey. Maybe you'll be transporting other things, but it's a great thing to give thanks to. All you truck drivers out there that are currently out there driving the roads on Thanksgiving, I want to say thank you for you. Because of you, our country continues to keep going and everything continues to keep moving in our economy. You are the backbone to our country. If you want to be a hero just like them, and you want to get your CDL license, maybe today is the time. All you got to do is give us a call. We're closed today. Don't call us on Thanksgiving, but give us a call, 908-525-3609. We'll definitely be here to help you out and answer any type of questions that you do have. Maybe one of the things to be thankful for is the ability that you can make that phone call. Maybe it's the ability that you can change your life. You can change your future today, right? What's holding you back? If you always think about what you don't have, then you'll never be grateful for what you do have. So you might be saying, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, whatever it is, we'll work it out. Because of this great, great year of Thanksgiving, we always are here to give thanks, focus on the great positive things that we have in life. Because when you focus on the positive, I'm a firm believer that more positive things start coming into your life. If you start focusing on the negative, that's where your brain is at, and that's what you're gonna put into the universe, and a whole lot more negative things are gonna happen. So from the littlest things, when you woke up this morning, you had breath. You have the ability to watch this video right now. Many people don't. Think about all the things you can be grateful for right now, no matter how crazy this year has been. And think about it. You are the only one who, who has the ability to control their future. And the only way to control your future is to control how you feel right now. And all I want you to do is this simple exercise. Name five things that you're truly grateful for. Could be big, could be small. Just look at the people that you're standing with around your table today. And you might not like them all the time, but if you're truly family and friends, you probably always love them some way, somehow. So be thankful for that. I'm thankful that I'm here to help you out any which way that we can. 
we have the ability and we have a mission of helping a million people get on the road to freedom. And we're getting there every single day, getting closer by helping you as an individual. So one more time, if you have any questions about getting a CDL license, I hope you enjoyed how turkeys actually got to your table itself. Give us a call, 908-525-3609. If you want to take a virtual school today, before you take that nap from all that turkey meat inside your system, take a virtual school tour. Our office is closed today because it is Thanksgiving, but you can take a virtual school tour anytime that you want. cdldrivenacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdldrivenacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, you know where to call. Thanks. Have a good one.